we got an update on the Justin Lane situation, which we actually talked about this about a couple weeks ago. I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, what ended up happening was he ended up getting arrested. Uh, he was going he was going 89 miles per hour on a 60 mile an hour road. Um, he was arrested on suspicion of felony transportation. I guess there was a gun in his car. And what ended up happening is he ended up getting charged with two other misdemeanors. He was driving with a suspended license. He was exceeding speed limits. Um, what ended up happening was they ended up dropping the gun charge, but because he got charged with a misdemeanor, he pleaded guilty to the misdemeanor of uh, possessing the criminal tools in the car. And as a result, he's he's um he's received six months of probation, 32 hours of community service, and a $500 fine, and is ordered to pay the court's cost. So he has to do that unless he's probably going to get either a bigger fine or he's probably going to end up behind bars. So, um, yeah, we did talk about this, so we won't touch up too much on it. But before I pass on to you, Mario, this article was written by Brooke Pryor, who is an ESPN staff writer. And I'm pretty sure she won she wrote the other one from the other article about Justin Lane before. So I, if, if my knowledge is correct, but with that being said, I'll pass on to you, Mario. Yeah, um, we see this we see this a, a lot uh, within the uh, criminal justice system. You know, sometimes uh, people they'll take a they'll take a plea bargain or they'll take a they'll they'll plead guilty so they can get a le a, a less serious uh, precaution. And this is exactly what's going to happen with uh, Justin Lane. You know, he's facing six months of probation, thirty two hours of community service, five hundred dollar fine. And he's ordered to pay court costs. Um, I'm not sure how that uh, six month probation is going to affect him playing in the NFL. You know, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But um, again, we know about the whole incident. They, you know, they had a suspicion of felony transportation of a firearm inside his vehicle. Um, he um, that was according to the jail records, and he was also charged with two misdemeanors. So again, you know what, Nate? I hope that Justin Lane can learn from this situation. You know, I really do. And again, we just we never know what he we don't know what he was going to do with that gun, you know, to, we still don't know because we never got a, we never got anything or we never heard anything, you know, so we don't know exactly what he was going to do with that gun. But I hope he can learn from this situ situation, you know, because situations like these, some players they end up tossing their career, you know, and Justin Lane, he appeared in 16 games last season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So you can tell he was a big factor in that defense. But again, you don't want to see you don't want to see players like this end up making stupid choices like this. So I hope that Justin Lane can learn from this. You know, uh, he took the guilty plea for the misdemeanor. He's going to have to uh, suffer the consequences. But hopefully, that he can learn from this and he can continue his NFL career. Again, I don't. I'm not going to say anything like best of luck or like I'm not going to put on a hot mic because I don't know what Justin Lane was going to do with that gun. I really don't. It could have been anything. Could have went to a gun range. He could have. Um, he could have went to a gun range. He could have thought about possibly shooting someone. He could have, you, you just don't know, Nate, you know, he could have showed it to a friend. He could have been carrying it for so. I have no clue. But all I know is I hope, I really do hope that he can learn from this. And I hope that he understands like this, can, this type of thing can't happen again. So with that being said, I'm not really going to wish anybody the best of luck. I'm just going to end it with, I hope he can learn it. Like I said, for the fourth time now, um, but again, let's just be a lesson to you guys. We're going to say it one more time. Make the right choices. Okay. If you guys are gun owners, you know, that's your business, not mine. Again, you guys have that right to own a gun. But make sure you make sure you know the rules about carrying it in the car. Okay. Because the last thing we need for people to do is carrying guns without even a harmful intent. And then they get end up getting facing big time consequences because they didn't know how to properly uh carry the gun. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, just make the right choices, guys. Right, yeah, and I was going to touch up on that, too, because I talked about this in the last video, you know, um, the last Justin Lane video we talked about, how, um, you know, if you're going to, you can have a gun in a car, so as long as it's in the, in the box, or like the gun box or the gun bag, or whatever the case might be, it has to, it has to be keeping it kept away from sight, you know, you have to do that, you know, because again, you know, like we said, you know, it is, it is within your right to carry a gun, but you have to secure, you have to, to uh, properly secure it and make sure it's away from sight. So that's right. probably why, you know, again, you know, like Mario said, we don't know what he was going to do with that gun. But the fact that it was in plain view, you know, that, that alone can get you in trouble regardless of what you were going to do with it, regardless if you were going to go hunting or go to a shooting range or actually have the intent on shooting somebody. We don't know. It's the fact that you had that uncovered and you didn't follow the rule on that part that got you in trouble. So you do. So I was going to touch up on that. So do be careful with that. You know, again, like Mario said, it's not my business. If you're a gun owner, just do just follow the rules. That's all you got to do. As for Justin Lane, you know, again, I'm not going to touch up too much on this because, again, I don't know what he was going to do with this gun. I don't know what he was he was up to. But again, you know, I hope he can learn from these mistakes. 
Um, and if he does, you know, I do wish him the best of luck moving forward. If he does learn from these mistakes, I will say it like that. But um, with that being said, you know, again, you know, make the right choices. And yeah, I just hope Justin Lincoln learn from this and we'll see what happens.